What's going on, Dragon Brawlers? Scott Seven, your Guildmaster, back again here for Players Guild, and today we are finally talking about the Black Reveals. It's Shroom and Salsa. They've got a Z leader. They've got their margin forms and their doggers. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get straight into it. We've got quite a lot of cards to go through today. I'm, so, I'm just excited to play these guys again. I love the set 12 leader, I think it was. Set 11. And yeah, so to see a different maybe style of play, I'm excited. So send the top two cards of your deck to the warp. When this card attacks, look at up to five cards from the top of your deck. Add a black demon realm race or demon god card among them to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Okay. So just straight into the warp. Interesting. Uh, and it's on attack as well. Uh, when your life is four or less, or there are six or more black cards in your warp. Okay, there's the payoff. You may send one card from your hand to the warp. Um, one card from your hand to the warp. Draw two cards and switch up to one energy. So that's mid until you are in, in life till six. Interest. Ooh, okay. So you you send one hand from your hand to the warp. You draw two and untap one. That's a really powerful awaken. Um, especially because we know how easy it is to get six cards into the warp, especially if you're playing in overrealm. And there's nothing stopping you playing overrealm in this. Uh, so then the awaken forms is a demon god shroom and. Salsa Deadly Genius in their margin forms, and they look so good. I love them. Uh, Permanent, when you would place a card from your combo area in your drop area, remove it from the game instead. Ugh. Okay, so forcing you to put into Z energy, maybe? Uh, then send one Demon Realm Race or Demon God card from your hand to the wall. When this card attacks, draw two. Okay, so it's, it's like the old discard one, draw two. Except you're warping them this time. I mean, the payoff here on me, automatically, I feel like, is just going to mirror, right? Like the uh, the mirror big boy. Um, activate battle once per turn. If this card is in battle, use up to one demon man race or demon god card, both mono black and without super combo from your warp in a combo. Okay, that's the payoff. So you can warp a bunch of cards and then combo from your warp, and then send them to your Z energy. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. I think that's a pretty cool, unique way of playing it. It's definitely not a skillless strategy, which is what I was expecting to see something formed of. But I like it. So then we've got Demon God Shroom and Demon God Salsa. Imminent Annihilation. <laughs> Very nice. Double Strike. It's a 20k Z Awaken. Um, for free Z Energy, which is not bad. If your life is two or less. So you've got to be quite low on this. Uh, Black Shroom or uh, Black Shroom Salsa Leader. So this can't work with the original oh wait may, may, no maybe it can i need to double check yeah no it is because it's shroom salsa yeah they put they're both on that one card aren't they it's not just a shroom leader or a salsa leader um so you pay one uh black uh, energy and free z energy black z energy i should specify uh and then you get to play this guy on top of your leader so it's 20k double strike uh activate man Place one of your Z energy in your in its owner's drop. You may look at the bottom card of your deck uh, and play it if it's a Shroom or Salsa card with seven and an energy cost of three or less and place it at the bottom of your deck if you don't. Okay. So we're going to see a return to seven. Uh, we know there's some Mechikabura cards with Overlord, so I'm guessing that's where this is going. Activate battle once per turn. If this card is in a, in a battle, use up to two Demon Realm... Uh, so from the warp combo with them up to two uh again so you can fuel one of those and obviously not super combos which makes sense because that would be broken if you could super combo that um so on paper i kind of really like it i'm not the hugest fan of overlord and servant but we'll see where this goes this is a really cool looking sr i'm not gonna lie um demon god shroom demon god sells uh, unending nightmare it's an eight drop free specified black 110 combo, which is weird because we've seen a lot of these 8-drop SRs have 0-5. Um, but I guess this makes sense because if you warp this card, then... Um, the, if you warp this card, then it's a free 10k, right? Like, because it is just you combo with a black battle card. That's um, Demon Realm Race or Demon God. And it has no restrictions on that. So you just use it in the combo. So you'd get the 10k. So I guess that's where that comes from. And that's cool. So it's a double strike servant. So it comes in as a 35k double strike. Which is pretty hefty. 
when this card is placed in your drop from your battle area or combo area, place it at the bottom of the owner's deck instead. So you can normally combo with... Oh, and then you get it at the... Oh. Oh. Oh, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. So you could combo this from hand. Oh, you, oh, you can easily free to warp this as well. And then you could put it at the bottom of your deck from that warping. So you don't even need to charge in your Z energy. So this is another utility for it. Oh, I really like that. Uh, when this card is played, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and one of their battle cards, ignoring barrier, and sends it to the owner's warp. That's exactly what Black Demon Gods needed. Oh my gosh, yes. This is going straight into my... Uh, into my... Um, Mechikaburu wish deck. Activate battle, limit one, at pay two. If you have three or more energy and there are two or more black battle cards in your combo area, play this card from your warp. Yeah, I mean, it might be hard to do with Mechikaburu thinking about it, but I'll still find a way to make it happen because this is awesome and I love it. And it's really cool and definitely SR worthy. And uh, then we've got Dark King Mechikaburu, still not time power unleashed, which makes me think that Z2 might still continue the Dark Empire saga. Um, He's a 0 5 15 with Overlord, which makes sense. Limit 1. When this card attacks, uh, use up to 1 Demon Realm Race or Demon God card buff. Yeah, so same effect as the leader. You can combo from your warp, which I think is actually insane now that I think about it. Um, activate main. If your leader is black Demon Realm Race and there's 6 or more cards in your warp, play this card from your hand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually really loving this Shroom Salsa. I'm not going to lie, guys. I think this is really cool. Um... So whereas like the, the the Dark King Mechi deck focuses on what's in your opponent's warp, this focuses on your warp, and I like that. Oh, and we have a Z battle card, and it's Demon God Demigre, begrudging ally. So this is actually an ally for the the Time Patrol rather than it is for Mechikabura, which is weird. But like, let's see what the effects does. I think it's probably going to work with uh, Mechikabura, but hey, oh, two two drop, two specified black. And free energy, so free Z energy, two black energy, unique. Uh, okay, I think this is the first time we're seeing unique on a Z battle card. Could be wrong, but this card gets two K power for each card in your Z energy. Nice. Uh, also, once per turn, if it's your turn, when you activate Over Realm or Dark Over Realm, or play a black battle card from your warp, draw one card and choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. When it costs six dollars, and send it to its owner's warp. That's actually a nice little effect. Um. That's really cool. I think that can go in quite a few dicks. And I like to see that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Demon God Shroom Demonic Invitation. There we go. There's the, one of the most look coolest looking versions of the Shroom. Uh, seven, which is expected. Um, when this card attacks, you may send the top card of your deck to the warp. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. When it's cost a four or less and send it to its owner's warp. Nice, doesn't ignore barrier, which I don't think it needs to here. Uh, it's a 20k swing, and I believe you'll be bringing it out. Activate main, uh, sorry, activate battle if there is one or more salsa cards in your combo area. So, yeah, you combo salsa, you get to play this guy. Um, from your hand or warp, which is nuts. Um, and then I guess salsa is going to be the same. If there's a shroom, you play it from the warp. Uh, when this card is played, you may send the top card of your deck to your warp. Then your opponent sends one card from the hand to the warp. That's really good. I really like Storm Demon God Salsa Storm Cloud. That's like nuts. That's a really nutty artwork. I've not seen that before, so I'm really cool. I'm really happy to see that. Uh, then we've got Genius Craft. Activate main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards when it costs of uh, and it costs less than or equal to their current energy and send it to their own as warp. Additionally, if your leader is a demon god card, draw a card. So pay one warp something with less than or equal to their current energy and also draw a card that's really cool oh and we're seeing a dark broly card here uh so dark broly heartless berserker so this is a six drop over on six when this card is played choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and warp it okay that's fair um activate main pay two if your leader is black play this card from your warp Woo! interesting but no combo power on this guy no combo power on this guy and that's it for today guys Really exciting stuff. Um, honestly, I'm really, really excited to play with this stuff. Um, there's a plenty of good cards that help you facilitate this deck. And I think this is kind of where we've been building to. I'm really excited to see what else we're going to get for black. 
because uh, I don't think this is it by the looks of it. There's still quite a few cards missing. Um, poutine, uh, gravy. If we get more things with this permanent of like, oh, if this guy if it was to go to the bottom of the deck, then it's going to be great. Uh, I can easily say playing this deck at 60 is probably going to be the way to go. Uh, I just, yeah, I'm really excited. And uh, I think I would have to double check, but uh, I don't think the Mechikabura Ritual at Hand needs to search for Ritual at Hand. Because I think that's going to be an invaluable card um, in terms of just tutoring these cards. But there might be other cards. Um, either way, I'm really excited to see what comes of this deck. Uh, definitely, I'm going to be playing it. There's no way in heck I'm not going to be playing this card, uh, this deck. And yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. This this SR really excites me. Uh, this is the only SR we've seen for black right now. So that I'm pro there's probably going to be a couple more. Uh, Overlord Servant. There's been a few. There's a tower with Servant as well. Um, which doesn't proc off of the uh, Z Awakened effect. But, you know, if you if you need it, Z, uh, for those who need the reminder, uh, Overlord is you can bottom deck a card with Servant. You draw a card. Um, so it's really quite powerful. Um and yeah, let's just see where this goes. And yeah, see you next time, guys.